Welcome to Wake Up With God. We live stream daily Mass today. We attend the Holy Mass on Wednesday, 29th, May 2024. Wednesday of week 8 in ordinary time. Whenever anyone obeys what Christ has said, God's love comes to perfection in him. Please keep quiet and concentrate on attending the Mass. We come before the presence of God, the God who God is us in His love and in His Spirit. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Amen. The grace of our Lord Jesus Christ, and the love of God, and the communion of the Holy Spirit be with you all. And with your spirit. My dear friends, we are gathered in today's Mass, and we seek the grace to be holy. And for our special intention, we pray for people who are affected by the recent typhoon, and we pray for their uh, speedy rehabilitation. Coming together as God's family with confidence, let us ask the Father's forgiveness, who is full of gentleness and compassion. You were sent to heal the contrite of heart. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. You came to call sinners. Christ, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. You are seated at the right hand of the Father to intercede for us. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. Amen. Let us pray. Grant us, O Lord, we pray, that the course of our world may be directed by your peaceful rule, that your church may rejoice untroubled in her devotion. To our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God, forever and ever. Amen. Please be seated and let us listen to the Word of God. A reading from the first letter of St. Peter. Beloved, concerning the salvation of your souls, the prophets who prophesied about the grace that was to be yours searched and investigated it, investigating the time and circumstances that the Spirit of Christ within them indicated when it testified in advance to the sufferings distant for Christ and the glories to follow them. It was revealed to them that they were serving not themselves, but you with regard to the things that have now been announced to you by those who preached the good news to you through the Holy Spirit sent from heaven, things into which angels longed to look. Therefore, gird up the loins of your mind, live soberly, and set your hopes completely on the grace to be brought to you at the revelation of Jesus Christ. Like obedient children, do not act in compliance with the desires of your former ignorance. But, as he who called you is holy, be holy yourselves in every aspect of your conduct. For it is written, Be holy, because I am holy. The Word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. The Lord has made known his salvation. The Lord has made known his salvation. Sing to the Lord a new song, for he has done wondrous deeds. His right hand has won victory for him, his holy arm. The Lord has made known his salvation. The Lord has made his salvation known. In the sight of the nations, he has revealed his justice. He has remembered his kindness and his faithfulness toward the house of Israel. The Lord has made known his salvation. All the ends of the earth have seen the salvation by our God. Sing joyfully to the Lord, all you lands. Break into song, sing praise. The Lord has made known his salvation. Please all rise to honor the gospel. Alleluia, alleluia. Blessed are you, Father, Lord of heaven and earth. You have revealed to little ones the mysteries of the kingdom. Alleluia, alleluia. The Lord be with you and with your spirit. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Mark. 
Glory to you, O Lord. Peter began to say to Jesus, We have given up everything and followed you. Jesus said, Amen, I say to you, There is no one who has given up house or brothers or sisters or mother or father or children or lands for my sake, for the sake of the gospel, who will not receive a hundred times more now in this present age. Houses and brothers and sisters and mothers and children and lands with persecutions and eternal life in the age to come. But many are the first will be last and the last will be first. Friends, the gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. Please be seated. Who wants to be blessed? Do you want to be holy? Do you want to be holy like Santa Sonia? My dear friends, in contemporary times, it's rare for somebody to desire to be blessed, a holy person, or a saint. Sometimes when we seek blessings, we seek physical, psycho-emotional, or material blessings. This kind of blessing is welcome. But only few seek spiritual blessings or spiritual virtues. It is not cool to desire to be holy. When we do random acts of kindness, people will tease us. When we are praised because we are doing something good, we feel embarrassed and downplay what we have done. My dear friends, though we feel embarrassed or we see being holy as uncool, or we are teased when we are doing good things, deep down in our hearts, we appreciate people who have done good deeds, random acts of kindness, noble acts of heroism. We are inspired by their example. I remember my aunt who died recently. I celebrated an online memorial mass for her. She was a first cousin of my papa. Though our Chinese patriarchs were not Catholic Christians, but our paternal grandmothers were deeply religious. They would sneak out their children on Sundays to attend the Mass. My aunt, as an eldest sister of six siblings, cultivated her faith and devotion. When she got married, she and her husband were active in charismatic movement and later on in the couples for Christ. Managing her pharmacy did not deter her from her religious activities. Aside from her religious devotion, she was a charitable and generous person, especially to her nephews and nieces. Several of my cousins attested that our aunt was a go-to person for aspects of their lives, from material, managerial, personal, and spiritual needs. She was a matriarch of their family. She was even part of my priestly vocation. When her only son wanted to be an acolyte, she approached my mama. Though I was hesitant, she negotiated with my mom to be my cousin's acolyte body. It was my first memory of serving at Mass. Even when I entered in the seminary, my mama and I visited her for a blessing and support. Her widower husband attested during the online memorial mass that as a couple they tried to live out the principle of the former UK Prime Minister Winston Churchill. According to Churchill, we make a living by what we get. Not by what we get, but what we make alive by what we give. Reflecting on their lives together, my aunt's life was really about giving generously giving herself, her time, and talents to family and to church. In giving, she made her life a blessed one. Her holy life became a blessing to her family and community. My dear friends, in the first letter to the early Christian communities, Peter exhorted them to live a holy life by saying, like obedient children, do not act in compliance with the desires of your former ignorance. But as he who called you is holy, 
Be holy yourselves in every aspect of your conduct. For it is written, Be holy because I am holy. My dear friends, Pope Francis contemporizes his call to holiness for his apostolic exhortation, Gaudate et exultate. Rejoice and be glad. It is through holiness that we can worthily live our Christian vocation. We may dismiss this call to holiness as impossible because we know our faults and failures. But Pope Francis invites us to consider holiness as a practical way of living our Christian life today. He encouraged us to be like saints. Their lives may not always have been perfect, yet even amidst their faults and failings, they kept moving forward and proved pleasing to the Lord. He calls this practical way of holiness applicable to our life situations, the middle class holiness. It is a practical way of holiness. One does not need to be beatified or canonized as a saint. What is important is that one gives witness to his or her faith life in Jesus to concrete acts, expressions of Christian virtues, such as the ones Peter suggested to his community like be, be, being obedient to God, doing service to all, as well as desiring to be good, noble, and holy. My dear friends, let us offer our prayers to the Lord. Aware of the danger in putting our trust in the pleasures of this world, we lift up our hearts in fervent prayer to the Father, saying, Lord, hear our prayer. Lord, hear our prayer. That the church throughout the world may be an effective sign of the way to everlasting happiness and eternal life. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, Lord hear, hear our prayer. prayer. That we may learn to trust in spiritual values which enrich our being and not in material possessions which bring discontent to our souls. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, Lord hear, hear our prayer. prayer that we may never close our hearts to those in need, but consciously involve ourselves in Christ's work of healing and reconciling. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. That the sick and the disabled may experience the Lord's care through the love of their neighbors and friends. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, Lord hear our prayer. That our deceased relatives and friends may enjoy God's peace in heaven. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For those celebrating their birthdays, Helena Nunag, Amina Latinazo, for the healing of Edman Rafin, Malo Ortega Pastoral, Milas Soledo Garcia, Dores Orihana, Joaquin Patawaran, Dr. Raymond Alonso, Jesse Sadiwa, Seth Verhel de Dios, Abby Puno, Karina Ali, Tisha Aganon, Lydia Jean Climaco, Stella Marina Garcia, May Sines, Sherry Ocampo, Isosita Cabanas Teves, for the repose of the souls of Inigo Cleopas Lindiola, Jun Di Mayuga, Reginaldo Fulgar, Nina Carrion, Norberto de la Serna Sr., Horacio de la Rama Sr., for the special intentions of Anne Divi, Anisha C. and family, Sandy, Grace D. and family, Violet, Thelma Ali, Lourdes Garcia, Lani Simpson, Anastasia Bautista, Hans and Susan Santos, Diego and Joaquin, Dennis and Sel, Dino and Andy Francisco, Nate Gonzalez, Umeng Lopez, Jonah Clarion, JP and Cecil Polintan, Sharon and Janet, Hans Gonzalez, Levi Baligod, and Marilo Galinsuga Baligod. And for all the intentions sent to our Facebook pages at Jesco Radio Katipunan, let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. Those who would like to pray for people who are affected by the recent typhoon, we pray for their speedy rehabilitation. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. Heavenly Father, look with compassion on the needy. 
enlighten our lives with your truth and give us a grace to live out the high ideals you have set before us by your Son, Jesus, who lives and reigns with you forever and ever. Amen. Please all rise. Pray, brethren, that our sacrifice will be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. May the Lord accept the sacrifice at your hands for the praise and glory of his name, for our good and the good of all his holy church. O God, who provide gifts to be offered to your name and count our oblation a sign of our desire to serve you with devotion, we ask of your mercy that what you grant us as a source of merit may also help us to attain merit's reward through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Lift up your hearts. We lift them up to the Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right and just. It is truly right and just, our duty and our salvation, always and everywhere to give you thanks, Lord, Holy Father, Almighty and Eternal God, for you so love the world that in your mercy you sent us the Redeemer to live like us in all things but sin, so that you might love in us what you loved in your Son, by whose obedience we have been restored to those gifts of yours, that by sinning we had lost in disobedience. And so, Lord, with all the angels and saints, we too give you thanks as in exaltation we acclaim. Holy, holy, holy Lord, God of hosts, heaven and earth are full of your glory. Hosanna in the highest. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. Hosanna in the highest. You are indeed holy, O Lord, the fount of all holiness. Make holy, therefore, this gift we pray by sending down your Spirit upon them like a Jew fall, so that they become for us the body and the blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread and giving thanks, broke it and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice and once more giving thanks, he gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it, for this is a chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which he poured out for you and for many, for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The Mystery of Faith When we eat this bread and drink this cup, we proclaim your death, O Lord, until you come again. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that partaking of the body and the blood of Christ we be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world and bring her to the fullness of charity together at Francis, our Pope, or Nesta, our Bishop, your respective local bishops, all the clergy, and the entire people of God. Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection 
and all who have died in your mercy. Welcome them into your light. Have mercy on us all, we pray. And with the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, Joseph, her spouse, the Blessed Apostles, and all the saints, who have pleased you throughout the ages, we merit to be co-heirs to eternal life, and we praise and glorify you to your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him and with him and in him, O God, Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. Amen. At the Savior's command, formed by divine teaching, we dare to pray. Our, Our Father, Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days. By the help of your mercy, we be always free from sin and safe from all distress, as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours now and forever. Lord Jesus Christ has said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. The peace of the Lord be always with you. And with your spirit. Let us offer each other the peace of Christ. Peace be with you. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Grant us peace. Behold the Lamb of God, behold him who takes away the sin of the world. Blessed are those invited to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, I am not worthy that you should enter under my roof, but only say the word, and my soul shall be healed. Communion Antiphon. Behold, I am with you always, even to the end of the age, says the Lord. Let us pray. Nourished by your saving gifts, we beseech your mercy, Lord, that by the same sacrament with which you feed us in this present age, you make us partakers of life eternal through Christ our Lord. Amen. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. And may Almighty God bless you all. The Father, the Son, the Holy Spirit. Amen. Amen. Our celebration is ended. Lead holy lives. Thanks be to God. I 
Yes. Cảm ơn các bạn đã xem video. Nếu thấy hay, hãy nhấn like, đăng ký kênh và comment để ủng hộ chúng mình nhé.